now i will give some name here suppose i am saying name first name is ascending whatever you are giving here it will play a vital role during the coding many time people will give something else here and in the coding they will use something else and they will not get the expected output whatever we are giving here it will play a vital role during the coding once i will double click i will show you whatever we are giving it will be what i am double clicking have you seen when i double click whatever the name i gave it is assigned to function it is assigned to function so every button every button remember every button has a function code function code suppose simple i'm clicking suppose i will go to sc11 transaction code suppose i'm clicking on to syntax check button so this button has a function code i am clicking on to this activate button this button has a function code i am clicking on to this delete button this delete button has a function code so every button has a function code just go for simple understanding i clicked on to this syntax check button how system understand that you click on to this button with the help of function code only so every button has a unique function code it's a golden rule every button has a unique function code which we are using in the coding with the help of that only system understand it's not a simple cramming or something suppose it's not a game something suppose i clicked on to activate button how system understand that we clicked on to activate button because this button has a function code we are using that function code in the coding so every button has a unique function code that's why we are putting so much stress here now we are going for two buttons so definitely we need to give different different function code to the button if we will give the same function code system will confuse but the action he, the first system has to perform so every button must must have a unique function code so what the function code for the first button i we gave ascending we'll go for okay now i will give some function text suppose i am giving same to same function text now once i will go here the topic will make more more sense to you i am going to f4 help of icon name have you seen we are getting so many icons just see here have you seen every button has a symbol every button has a symbolic image which will help a user to understand by the symbol itself that this symbol belongs to this so we are creating our own function it means we need to give the symbol we need to choose the symbol we'll choose some relevant symbol anyways we are going for ascending so i will choose the icon for ascending you can choose any icon it's your wish suppose i will go for this i will give some information suppose i will write to sort data in ascending order whatever we are giving here you will see each and everything each and everything we'll go for okay now we all know every button has a shortcut now the topic is making more more sense we all know suppose for syntax check button what is the shortcut control plus f2 for activate what is the shortcut control plus f3 same thing is applicable suppose i am taking the shortcut shift plus f1 now i will give same to same icon text also i will go for okay so first button done now same way we will go for second button 
suppose i am writing this setting it is a very very important because this will be the function code of the button and every button has a unique function code i will double click okay i will choose same to same function text now i will go for icon i will go for f for help icon name is symbol of that button now i will write descending i will choose this icon i will write to sort data in descending order we go for okay i will choose the shortcut now shift plus f2 now we will go for same to same icon text okay i will activate do not forget to activate your ps status whatever the ps status you create now we will activate the program so what is the summary of the video in this video we firstly simply simply displayed the data from order header table after that we started with how we can create our own functions whenever you want to create your own functions the syntax is set pf status you have to give some name to the pf status but pf stands for personal functions we are creating our own functions we are creating our own gui status so you all know very very well now what are the various parts of gui status menu bar function keys title bar application tool bar now we want to create the buttons or functions in the application tool bar so what we did we simply double click created the pf status we went to application tool bar whatever the first thing you are giving it will act as a function code and every every button has a function code because function code is very important because of that only you can write the logic in the system we gave the various shortcuts to the button we chose the various symbols of the button we gave some text to the button and we created two buttons in the next video we will see how the buttons are appearing and then we will write the logic on those buttons so that's it in this video thank you